Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, thanks once again for um, a lot of you guys um, giving me some help and advice in the comments. Um, one of the most um, um, active people in that is uh, Game Carpenter. Thank you very much again. Um, I apologise. Uh, I have done some launches in the dark and I know you guys can't see very much. So we're just going to accelerate time. To get us into the daylight. Um, next thing we are going to do is we are going to accept a um, a visual survey contract, which will get us fifteen thousand seven hundred and fifty um, ten signs and nineteen prestige. Um, we need to take a crew report below seventeen thousand one hundred in the area of. TK9. So let's accept that and we'll see that um, there it is, TK9 is there. So that's not too far away, we can do that. Um, was there any other things we could do? Um, I think that'll do for now. Is that other one it looked a bit close. We might be able to do that one as well. I think I've accepted it now. But I think that was that one there. So I think we should be able to do both of those. Because I've designed a rocket that might be able to do both. Maybe one on the way up, one on the way down. This rocket, named Game Comp Carpenter 1 starts off with a solid state rocket to get us up then we've got um, a liquid fueled rocket with one fuel tank a little bit of science uh, some goo and a whole bunch of parachutes that will hopefully get us there or thereabouts um, gonna take Jeb again because of the uh, skills that he has hopefully we should be around about daytime now or we'll just accelerate time a little bit until we get See the sun's about to rise. Let's just get it a bit lighter. That should do it. Okay, so we can stability assist, he can do retrograde and prograde. So we'll hit on the old stability assist. And we'll hit that there so we can see what contracts we're aiming for. I'll have a quick look at the map and that's where we're going to be aiming for. That one is got to be taken above 19,400 so we've got to aim for that one which I'm hoping is going to appear on here somewhere but we'll see what happens We'll throttle up ready and then in three, two, one, let's go. Ah, there's the target just there. I think. So gotta be above. So we'll start rocking over already. Set the map. Oh, we need to rock over a bit less. Oh. Actually, we need more height quicker than I expected. So we'll get up to there. Hopefully we've got plenty of fuel. If we make the other one that's great, if not... Hopefully we're pushing that apoapsis away. Heading in the right direction. Come on Jeb, a bit more height mate. we see something come up here soon tells us we're in the vicinity of the of that area 
still pushing it up higher, we're getting there. We've made half the height already. Atmosphere is starting to get thinner, so the engine will start to be more effective. Um, so hopefully we've got enough fuel. I don't think we're going to make the second one, but if we make the first one, that will be great. And the idea is all this comes back down. We save all of this, so it doesn't cost us too much. Let's just see if there's any science that we can take from the junior. Nothing significant. Goo. Again, nothing significant. Is that is that gone green or nineteen thousand four hundred? It's getting there, I think. So let's have a crew report. Oh, how do you do that? Quick. Crew report. Yep. Got it. Cut that. Let's see where the other one is. The other one is right over here. Where is that? I was looking at the amount of fuel we got left, there's no chance of that happening. So what we'll do instead, again we'll check for any goo that we can get, any science we can get, oh, that's better than nothing. Oh great, you click these and he'll take us there. That's awesome. Okay, so we got one of them done, so that's nice. Uh, and it's 23,000, so that's a definite profit. And if we press the G key, out comes our landing gear, in case we hit any land we're going to hit the water in this occasion and then as we get a bit nearer so we just take a bearing where we are it is this continent here rather than any of the other ones out comes all of our Parachutes. Got a little bit of. Ah, uh, oh, still took the mono pennant with me, didn't I? <laughs> still got a bit of gas, which we will use just before touchdown, just to make sure that our final landing is nice and gentle into the splashdown water. Almost there. Thousand meters up. Five point six meters per second on the uh, um, speed, so that's looking good. 200 meters, 150, 100 meters, 50, 30, 20. Nice and gentle ish. Let's observe that bit of goo. Absolutely nothing. And a lot of rocking around. 
Maybe it'll quieten down. Oh, hold on. That's Jeb doing that, isn't it? There we go. Let's rotate to there. Rebus and EVA. Get us a report. Already done that, so that's no good. Jump back in again and recover the vessel. Now, hopefully, we've got a quite a large amount of the money back that we spent on that. Uh, science managed to get 5.1, managed to get 7,000 back. I have to check how much that cost us, but that's a fair amount back. And Jeb made no gain in XP. Let's just have a quick check. Cost us 8,000 to do the flight. So that's good. Um, we need obviously more power. So we're going to. Should we get rid of that one and give us that one instead? Sounds good. Just check our science because at 91 we can only have a maximum of 100. So we've got to spend something here now. Good one I'm interested in here uh, is this the fact that we can um, use these fuel ducts now. That would be really, really useful, I think. Or solar panels. Or just more science. That's too big for me to get up there at the moment. This, I'd say there's a great deal here that really does me any good. So, definitely think it's going to be one of these. Loads of different types of engine, fuel tanks, Got the fuel ducting, I thought we'd be a bit early for that. Different cockpits. Um, Not sure what that is. Is that a capsule thing? Fuel tank? What is that? It's got a reaction wheel in it. It's like, yes, it's a command. Yeah, unmanned command. Yep, and that's. Or solar panels. So this will get us more science. See, that's the tricky thing. More science. Gotta spend it on one of them. Come with the science, I'm afraid, guys. I'm sure, people are screaming at me, telling me that was a bad thing to do. Science. Thermometer. Oops. Let's take that on there. That will do it. Right. Join me in the next episode where we'll try and do the second visual survey. Uh, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it please leave a like. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're thinking of it and if you haven't done already then uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.